Are you tired of dealing with network lag and high ping while gaming? You're in the right place. In this video, I'll walk you through a series of essential network tweaks that can help you reduce latency, improve connection stability, and even boost your internet speed. So stick around until the end and let's fix your connection once and for all. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and drop a like. Let's get started. What's threatened with the lag and high ping while you play games? So that you need a gear a booster. This is the ultimate tool to lower your ping, boost stability, and give you zero lag. Pro players like Asian Jeff and bother I to use it to stay ahead. So why not you? Download Gear Up Booster now from the link in the description and dominate every match. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your Ping C. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now, go to the Not tab, where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. The first step is absolutely critical for improving your internet adapter's efficiency, disabling background apps. Press the Windows key, type in Background Apps into the search bar, and hit Enter. By default, this feature is enabled, allowing various apps to run in the background even when you're not actively using them. Take a moment to scroll through the list. You'll likely find a bunch of unnecessary apps quietly draining both system performance and internet bandwidth. It's important to know that background apps are not the same as system services. System services are essential for Windows to function properly, but background apps are simply third-party or built-in programs that run silently in the background consuming data and CPU cycles. These background processes often ping the internet for updates or sync tasks, which can affect your online performance, especially during gaming or streaming. Unless there's a specific app you rely on for real-time data, I highly recommend turning this setting off completely. Think about it. Do you really need the weather app using your internet connection while you're deep into a Fortnite match? Probably not. Disabling background apps is a smart and easy win for reducing unnecessary load on your system and ensuring your internet adapter is fully focused on what actually matters, your active tasks. To optimize your internet adapter for smoother and more stable connectivity, the next step is to disable Windows notifications. Start by pressing the Windows key, then type notifications in the search bar. Click on notifications and action settings from the list. Once you're in, I highly recommend turning off all notification options by unchecking every box and switching the toggle to off. While this step is technically optional, it plays a surprisingly useful role in reducing background network usage. Notifications may seem harmless, but they often trigger live updates and background syncs that consume internet bandwidth and processing power, especially on low-end systems. Personally, I always keep notifications disabled because they not only create unwanted distractions, but also contribute to minor internet lags that can stack up during online gaming or streaming. So unless you absolutely depend on notifications, turning them off is a smart move toward minimizing interruptions and ensuring your internet adapter isn't overloaded with unnecessary network activity. Now let's take your network optimization to the next level using one of the most effective tools available, TCP Optimizer. To get this tool, head over to my website, link is in description. Once you're there, look for the latest post that matches the title and thumbnail of this YouTube video. It'll be hard to miss. Click on the post and you'll find a direct download link for TCP Optimizer. Download and install it on your PC to begin optimizing your connection for maximum performance. Once you've opened TCP Optimizer, start by selecting your active network adapter from the drop-down menu. Then move the slider to 100 plus Mbps to optimize your system for high-speed internet usage. Next, click on Apply Recommended Settings. This lets TCP Optimizer auto-adjust the best parameters tailored for gaming and general internet performance. To further fine-tune your network, you'll need to make a few manual adjustments. Disable auto-tuning and scaling heuristics. These features try to auto-balance your internet traffic, but they often cause unpredictable latency during gaming. Change the congestion control provider from Cubic to CTCP, Compound TCP, which is better suited for high-speed connections and helps with stable data throughput. Next, disable RSS, receive side scaling, and RSC, receive segment coalescing, 
These settings shift processing load to your CPU, which isn't ideal during gaming. Set time to live, TTL, to 64, which is a balanced value that maintains consistent routing across various networks. Also, turn off checksum offloading, chimney offload, and large send offload, LSO. These can often introduce lag or instability, especially on older or budget network adapters. In the Advanced Settings tab, set max connections per server to 10 to prevent overwhelming your connection while ensuring stable performance. Adjust max SYN retransmissions to 2 to reduce delays from repeated connection attempts. Finally, disable the network throttling index and set system responsiveness to gaming mode. These last two changes are crucial for achieving the lowest possible input delay and the smoothest online gameplay experience. Next, let's dive deeper into optimizing your network adapter settings for the best possible online performance. Start by right-clicking the network icon in your taskbar and selecting Network and Internet Settings. From there, go to Advanced Network Settings and click on More Network Adapter Options. In the window that opens, locate your active internet connection, disable any unused adapters to prevent background interference, and then right-click your active one and choose Properties. In the list of items, you'll see both Internet Protocol version 4, TCP IPv4, and Internet Protocol version 6, TCP IPv6. Depending on which one your network is using, select it and click Properties. Now it's time to optimize your DNS for lower latency. Choose the option to manually enter DNS settings. But before you apply anything, open Command Prompt as administrator and run a quick test by typing ping 8.8.8.8 for Google DNS, ping 1.1.1.1 for Cloudflare DNS. Whichever shows the lower ping is the one you should go with. If Cloudflare DNS performs better, use 1.1.1.1 as your preferred DNS and 1.0.0.1 as your alternate DNS. If Google DNS gives better results, use 8.8.8.8 .8 and 8.8.4.4. .4. This simple change can significantly reduce latency and improve the responsiveness of your online experience. Now let's fine tune the hardware level settings for your network adapter. Click on the configure button near the top of the properties window. Go to the power management tab first and uncheck the option that allows Windows to turn off the device to save power. This ensures your adapter stays active during intense gaming or streaming. Next, head to the Advanced tab and adjust the following parameters for maximum performance. Disable Adaptive Interframe Spacing, ARP Offload, PME, Energy Efficient Ethernet, Flow Control, Interrupt Moderation, Moderation Rate, IPv4, IPv6, Checksum Offload, Jumbo Packet, and Large Send Offload for both IPv4 and IPv6. Set Receive Buffers to the highest available value, usually 1024 or 2048, for improved data handling. Enable Packet Priority and VLAN. Set Speed and Duplex to either Auto Negotiation or the highest full duplex setting available. Disable TCP and UDP Checksum Offload for better consistency in real-time applications. Once you apply all these settings, your network adapter might temporarily disconnect and reconnect. But that's completely normal. These adjustments will greatly reduce latency, eliminate unnecessary packet processing, and ensure your network adapter is running at its full potential, especially when gaming or streaming on a low-end PC. That's a wrap! If these tweaks helped lower your ping and boost your gaming, hit like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more tips. Thanks for watching. Game on!